So Obamacare has been an unmitigated disaster. I was at an Ed Board uh, uh, interview just yesterday, and one of the interviewers asked me, would, would you turn back the clock and go back to where we were? Well, when premiums have doubled and tripled, in order to go back where premiums are now half to a third of what they are today because of Obamacare, absolutely I'd go back. And we would go back and we'd allow states to continue to regulate. I'd eliminate the individual mandate. I would allow individuals to purchase cross state lines. I would reestablish high risk pools. Well, the fraud here actually is pretending that these problems didn't exist before the Affordable Care Act and also pretending that the Affordable Care Act didn't make real progress. Yes, Senator Johnson was very straightforward there. He said he'd turn back the clock. He'd take away all the things that had been accomplished. That means 20 million people who have been covered under the Affordable Care Act would lose their coverage. 20 million people. That's not just important for those people. It's important for the hospitals and others who no longer have to see these people as charity cases and expensive cases. I've been told by hospitals in Monroe, Wisconsin Hospital Association, by patients and others that this is a major step forward. I've heard stories over the years of people who were blocked, people who had cancer and other issues. They couldn't get insurance because of the prohibition on pre-existing conditions. In other words, the fact that they could be prevented from getting insurance because of a pre-existing condition. The Affordable Care Act takes care of that. He would remove that.